So tonight, family, friends, and strangers are coming together to honor a 19-year-old senior shot and killed at Bel Air High School. We'll have more on the vigil for you in just a moment, but first, here's the most recent information we have on the investigation. Bel Air police tell us the accused shooter, a 16-year-old classmate, is exercising his right to remain silent. Investigators say witnesses have told them the shooting was unintentional. Police are still looking for the gun, a 32 caliber semi-automatic. The teen is charged with manslaughter. Now, earlier today, Bel Air police unveiled a timeline of how the shooting unfolded yesterday. Investigators tell us the first calls to 911 came right at 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Within four minutes, at 4.04 p.m., the first Bel Air police patrol unit was at the scene. The shooting victim was taken to the hospital where he died at 4.45 p.m. The search for the 16-year-old suspect continued into the evening when he was arrested near a dumpster right behind a convenience store at 7. 38 p.m. Tonight, we know the victim, Cesar Cortez, and the suspect were both members of the JROTC. Cortez's family says he had already enlisted in the Army. Channel 2 Sophia Beausoleil is joining us live in Bel Air tonight, where an emotional vigil for Cesar Cortez just wrapped up. Sophia? As you can imagine, it was a somber evening. Hundreds of people stood side by side as they prayed and remembered the life of Mr. Cortez. We've come tonight to pray. With each candle. We're here tonight to seek the comfort of God. Students, friends, and family remembered 19-year-old Cesar Cortez, the Bel Air senior whose life was cut short while at school. He was a very nice person. Like, he never spoke, it, like, to someone in a wrong way. It's just so heartbreaking, because, like, that's, that's a student, you know? Like, somebody who had a future. Cesar was known for his hard work and dedication. He recently enlisted in the Army. Cesar was a good kid. He was sweet. He was respectful. He was just hanging out at our house during Christmas break. Viviana Ramirez says her daughter was in JROTC with Cesar and is questioning the security of her daughter's school. And he had plans. And I feel like the school dropped the ball because this isn't the first time they found a gun on campus. It's my heart hurt. Flo Rice understands the pain this community is going through. She herself is a survivor from the Santa Fe High School shooting. She came to show her support. It breaks my heart that they have lived through this trauma and their life is forever changed because there weren't measures put in place to protect them. But in this moment, Cesar's loved ones took the time to honor a son, brother, and friend. Pray for him and be here for him. I will miss him. And he did not die in vain because I'm going to live forward for him and for my family. And the students that we spoke with said that it will be hard going back to school tomorrow, but they plan on rallying on one another to get through this difficult time. Reporting live from Evelyn Park, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Sophia.